Hey guys, how crazy do I look right now? Okay, so all my clothes is in the washer. So I'm wearing a beat up v-neck that I don't even think is mine. I don't think this is my shirt. My hair is a freaking mess and my eyebrows are bushier than ever. I haven't done my eyebrows in what feels like an eternity, so they are so wonky. If you saw them up close, you would faint. By the way, if you guys live in the Miami Lakes area, the Dragonfly Spa is where I get my eyebrows done and she's a genius and she's amazing at eyebrows. So if you're in the Miami Lakes area, that's a great place to go to. Okay, so this video is a first impressions. I decided to just pull up, get my hair out of my face because we will be using this guy to apply my foundation. Okay, so today's first impression is on this brush right here. This is from the brand Artis. And I have been seeing these brushes a lot recently, so I decided to buy one to see if it was good. And I wanted one for my foundation. Honestly, um, they make eye brushes like this as well, but I don't see how that would work for me. Like eye brushes in this style? I don't know. But anyway, these are the Artiste Elite Collection Mirror Finish brushes. They have a ton of them, but I bought the Oval 7 brush and I got this one specifically for my foundation. The Oval 7 is specifically good for um, contouring and applying blush, which is weird because I, I mean I bought it for my foundation, but I am going to try to contour and put my blush on with this brush as well. It says it's made with Cosme Fiber, Cosme, Cosme, Cosme Fiber, Animal Free Beauty. Cosmic fiber. Don't know what that is. So this is what the brush looks like. I've never used. Oh. <laughs> this is what it looks like. When I posted this <laughs> brush on Instagram, I would say 50% of the people said it looked like a spoon, because it was like this, and then a lot of people said it looked like a toothbrush. Um, supposedly the story around these brushes is that they are meant for applying makeup to yourself, like this. You know, like you do it for your own face as opposed to regular makeup brushes that were kind of made to use on other people, like as makeup artists putting makeup on other people. So that's really interesting and this feels incredibly soft. Actually, when I got this package, I was at my dad's house and Danny was there and he was like, um, this isn't as soft as like an it cosmetics brush. I'm like, you know too much. But he's right, it does feel a little bit stiffer, but only because it's like different. I feel like it's shorter, it's a little bit more dense, but it is really soft. I mean, my dad said it was incredibly soft, so I think it's soft. I can't with my hair, it's driving me nuts. Okay, so let's get the party started. I have already primed my face, and I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick, because this is a foundation I typically use with a brush instead of a beauty blender, so I wanted to see how this brush would work. And according to a lot of people, this doesn't suck up um, your foundation. Like a lot of people say that you get a more fuller coverage because this doesn't really suck up your foundation as opposed to other brushes. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this like I normally would, which I like to swipe it. This is a little bit dark for me at the moment, but we shall work with it. We shall work you're not supposed to um, pat this in or buff it in like, you're just supposed to swipe this on your face. Hmm. I feel like I need to get closer to the top, like hold it like this. Oh yeah, I like this better. I don't really notice anything different, to be honest, than when I use a like flat top or a buffing brush from like Real Techniques. Okay, so my foundation is completely on and it did apply my foundation really, really nicely. I don't see a huge difference compared to like my Morphe like flat top Kabuki. I don't really see much difference, except I do see that this kind of gives me a little bit of a fuller coverage. Um, in my monthly favorites video, I said that for me, this was a like medium coverage foundation, but in combination with this brush, I feel like I got a pretty full coverage. So that is a good thing because it didn't really soak up much product. This is incredibly dense and I could just tell on the brush that only a little bit of foundation is like 
in the bristles. As for right now, that is the only difference I can tell with this brush. And this is a very pricey brush. Let me see how much I paid for it. Okay, so I paid $55 for this brush. Why did I have the feeling that I paid $40? No, I paid $55. That's expensive. So as of right now, is it worth it for me just for the simple fact that product doesn't soak up? I don't know. I'm not sure, but this is so pricey and like my Real Techniques buffing brush is like $10. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'm going to try to contour and add blush with this brush because on the box it says that this brush is actually really good for that. But I'm going to go ahead and put on some concealer. This is actually the first time I use this concealer. This is from H&M Beauty and it is their cover up concealer. So I guess it's like another first impressions. This is in the shade vanilla and I'm just gonna pop this underneath. Ooh, this is like extremely yellow. Usually not the kind of color I go for underneath me eyes, but we're gonna go with it. Why is it that my first impressions never go as smoothly as I want them to. I'm gonna use my Pure Mineral sponge that I did not wet. <laughs> oh, this video is going fabulous. Hey, good job H&M. By the way, I will be doing a um, kind of like a one brand tutorial using H&M products. Kind of like a one brand tutorial because um, I have not found the foundation, but I did find a BB cream, so I'm gonna use like the BB cream So that is that video should be coming up soon. Let me see if this like you know what no <laughs> Wow, I really like this H&M concealer. I know this video is not about it but it has like a nice fresh finish and I don't know I really like it. Hopefully it doesn't really crease so bad, but let me go ahead and set that just gonna set my um, concealer using MAC Emphasize powder right here. This is a pure blurring powder brush and I'm just gonna set that. Okay, now I'm gonna contour my cheekbones. Wish me luck. I'm gonna clean this off on a towel I have here on my lap because it does have foundation on it so maybe this isn't the best thing to do. <laughs> but you know what? Wouldn't be a Kathleen video without a few disasters. I'm gonna take this duo again. By the way, I bought this on MacCosmetics.com and it is their Bone Beige and Emphasize Duo. So I'm gonna take kind of like the edge of this brush like this. See if this would be a good way to contour. And I'm gonna dip it into Bone Beige and see how that works. Ah! But like, how would I do this? Hey, not too bad. That contoured really nicely. So, okay, I'm left-handed, so this might be like weird, okay. Maybe I'm not contouring the way that you're supposed to contour with these brushes, but I'm just winging it and it seems to be working really nicely. This would probably be a really good brush for like a harsh contour. Like if you want a really strong chiseled cheekbone, this brush would be good. Something for a uh, everyday natural look, maybe not so much. The good thing about this brush is that you saw, like I created a super harsh line when I first put this powder down, but it blends the product really, really nicely. Like I was able to diffuse that super harsh contour, which I really like. Okay, so I am pleasantly impressed by the way this contoured my cheekbones. Wow, I didn't think I was gonna like it. Okay, so I'm cleaning it off on my towel again and I'm going to apply my blush. And today I'm going to be using kind of like a soft uh, blush. This is Benefit's Rockateur blush. And side note, I got this like in a set. Um, this came like in a cool set where it had a bunch of Benefit blushes and Hoola. But I feel like the quality is different 
on the sets than they are when you buy the actual product, like the full-size box powder blush. I don't know. I feel like they aren't as pigmented in these little sets. Am I the only one who feels that way? I don't know. I'm going to take Benefit's Rockadour, and I am just going to stamp this in here, I suppose. Tap it off and apply. I'm scared. Should I do it like this? Should I do it like this? I don't know. I don't know. Uh. Wow. Hey, I'm pretty impressed. And I say that because I used this blush yesterday on like a fluffy blush brush. And I found that like barely any pigmentation was coming off. But with this brush, it's making it look a lot more pigmented. Okay, so that is my blush on. I'm so impressed by the way that this applied the blush. But I will say, if you own a blush that is extremely pigmented, I wouldn't use this. I would use um, something like, I don't know, a dual fiber brush or any other brush because this applies your blush very, very pigmentedly. Pigmentedly, hope that's a word because I was just telling you guys right before I used this that this didn't really have that much pigmentation and uh, Yes, it does. Yes, it does with this brush I would use this for my highlight as well, but on the box It doesn't really say that it is for that. I'm just gonna apply my Anastasia Beverly Hills Starlight highlighting powder starlight illuminator with my Sigma high cheekbone highlighter. I used to not be a big fan of Sigma brushes because they would shed on me a lot and their new collection is actually really really good. I don't know if they've just upped their game. I'm not sure. I'm not a Sigma affiliate or anything like that. Okay and then I'm just going to apply mascara on my lower lash line and my lipstick and I'm going to use my Benefit Roller Lash and the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Angeles, and I will be right back to tell you my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I'm quickly gonna give you like an overview of what I think of this brush. To be completely honest, when I first like applied my foundation, I was like, okay, it doesn't suck up foundation. That's it, this is not worth $55, that's ridiculous. But I actually really, really, really like this brush. I feel like it's a one-stop shop. I put on my foundation perfectly fine, it blended really nicely, it didn't soak up product, it did a really good job, and then it gave me a really nice contoured look. It wasn't muddy or anything, and all I did was just like wipe off the excess foundation on a towel, and I went in with the contour and applied it really nicely. This blends out product beautifully. When I first applied that line, I was like, holy moly. <laughs> but it blended it out perfectly. And then yesterday, I used the Rockateur blush that came in this little set. And I wasn't crazy in love with it because I found that there was barely any pigmentation. And then I applied it with this brush and you could totally see my blush. I mean, I like a very soft application of blush regardless. I don't have too much blush on right now, but you could definitely see it. And yesterday, I really couldn't. And not to mention, it just blended out the blush really nicely. I had no problem blending anything out with this brush. I could probably even highlight with this. Let me add some more. Really, really love this brush because it can do so much. You can put on your foundation, you can contour, you can put on your blush, you can even put on your highlight. I didn't want to use it for my concealer because I like to pat my concealer in and this is something that you should like swipe with. So that is the only thing really that I don't see myself using with this brush, but this can do so many things. With that being said, it is a pricey product, but I do see myself using it often and I don't regret it. So I don't know, I guess you can make your own judgment. So I do give this brush a big thumbs up. I just wish it was more affordable. I think $55 for a brush is ridiculous. So yeah, that completes this first impressions. Side note, I really like this H&M concealer and it's like $8, I really like it. So yes, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions and that it wasn't really boring and weird. I feel like my first impressions don't make sense. I'm all over the place. That's why I hardly ever do them. So yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.